Today we have a Prada unboxing and everyone's going mad for it on Instagram. I nearly said influencer. Um, Influencergram is what it more really is, isn't it? The triangle bag today we're going to be unboxing. If you want to see how it fits, how it looks, the quality, etc, etc, what colours does it come in, how big is it, what can you fit in it, then uh, stay tuned because we're going to go through all of that. Now, I've never really shopped in Prada before. This was like my first time in Prada. It's just never been a brand that really radiates with me. You know, there's certain brands that I really like hone in on and there's some brands that I walk down Bond Street or walk through Harrods and I'm just like, mm, have no interest in walking through the door. Maybe it's just because I've been shopping luxury for a long time and I, these are just the ones that I've been to and just keep going to. Maybe it's just that. Maybe it's just that I'm used to certain brands. I don't know. Saying that, in the last year, I I never shopped at Balenciaga before a year ago. What have I bought from Balenciaga in the last year? I got the Triple S's. I got, I'm looking down at my shoes, the Defenders, the Phantoms. Um, I got those sunglasses recently. I got that Balenciaga cap that I always wear. It's a bit distressed that I got in Birmingham. I got that in my Morven vlog. I never unbox it though. Yeah, so actually that's a load of old rubbish. Anyway, I'm digressing. Today's about Prada. So yes, I went to Prada on Bond Street. I'm trying not to shop at Harrods as much now because I think when you're in Harrods, it's just like a fancy mall, you know? I'm always, you know, swanning around Harrods, getting God knows what. But I thought to myself, like, you're literally just getting all your stuff in one building and that's it. So I'm trying to more shop on like Bond Street and Sloan Street because it's like getting to go in different boutiques and it's the flagship stores. It's a bit more fun than just, you know, a little bit in Harrods and just running around like a, like a little ant, like a little lemming. Yeah, I went to um, Prada. It's a beautiful store if you haven't been to the London Bond Street one. It's all like marble, black and white checkered floors, which is stunning. And um, I was like trying to find an essay in there. And it was, I went after work one evening in the week and I couldn't like find an essay that was free. I think they were all kind of just running around like with customers. So I was like, of course, and there was this one woman and I was like, oh, hi, do you work here? Cause she was dressed really smartly and I thought maybe she worked there. And she was like, no. <laughs> and I was like, ah. and she was like, ah. and I was like, ah. um, bit of an over exaggeration. <laughs> it was very bizarre. I did think it was a bit weird. I didn't get a, box and I thought oh maybe Prada just don't give boxes for their bags but they do I looked on TikTok and everyone who got one of these triangle bags had like a beautiful box and the boxes were even the same color as their bag they chose and they unboxed it a beautiful tissue paper with a dust bag and I just got it like this I'll even show you literally just like this in in the shopping bag just dumped in there and I thought oh okay it was like a bit rainy on Bond Street and I was like oh like, okay I just thought it wasn't very like that wasn't great service and this is the like RFID tag so you can authenticate it. I don't know if you can see that. This is the authenticity card but look it's all ripped and I'm like all oh, right like okay which I know is only a tiny little defect but I just like things to be new and nice when I'm spending two thousand plus dollars on a bag or eighteen hundred pound I think it is. I'll put the price down here I'm not sure, I can't actually remember how much it was. I think it was £1,800, but I'll put how much it is in dollars as well. The colour is mango, by the way, that I got. And then look at the dust bag. I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see that on there. I can see that you can see that. <laughs> I can see that you can see that. <laughs> can you see all the dirt on there? Look, it's filthy. And I thought, God, what is this from? A, a jumble sale? Have I bought this at a car boot sale on the side of the road? Like, you know, when you're driving through, like, Salisbury and they sell strawberries on the side of the road, but it's Prada in a field. That's how, that's how, that's how they've made me feel. Not exaggerating at all here, but here's the bag, anyway. <laughs> it's fine, I just thought it was a bit like, you know, I, when I've shopped in, like, Louis Vuitton, like, ten years ago, and you buy a scarf and you get a box, you know? I thought a £2,000 bag would at least guarantee me a box, you know? Give me some excitement to unbox for my, you know, not for me, but for you guys as well. I want to get a fun unboxing experience, not just, oh, here it is out the bag. Anyway, here it is. Prada Triangle. I got it in Mango, and it, this is kind of, it does look Mango, to be fair. Um, it's beautiful. It's in their, you know, their standard Saffiano leather. You can see here, the strap is actually perfectly sized. I didn't even have to get them to amend it for me. It does have Prada on there. Yeah, because 
honestly, like once that essay has amended that strap for me, it's never being changed again. I never understand how to do all this. <laughs> and it does have on here Prada Milano there, which is cute in the same colour as the bag, which I love. Then inside, it's got this zip. How on a buttery scale, I'd say it's maybe a a six on the buttery scale. What did I unbox the other day? I unboxed something the other day and it was like, oh my God, it was like the butteriest thing you've ever felt. And then inside, I will put the dimensions down below in the description as well. This is it inside. You've got Prada made in Italy. But what's that in there? Oh. I think it's a bit of the authenticity card. Maybe I ripped it, gotta get out. Here it is inside, look, you can see, you've got enough space, you can probably fit a phone, a wallet, your house keys, a lip balm, your AirPods, all of that good stuff in there, with a fair amount of space left. And it does have, I wish this had a zip, I don't know if you can see, there's the pocket on the inside as well, there you've got Prada made in Italy, it has got a small, it's like a flap pocket. I wish it was a zip because then, you know, the thieves can't get me, I feel like with this, the thieves can get me. This doesn't go this outfit at all. I have to stand on my tiptoes. <laughs> but this is it here. This is it on. You can see how big it is. And here it is. Here's the strap from the back. Ignore my ratty hair. I'm growing it out at the moment. Which is so annoying. It's in a really awkward stage of growing it out. My hairdresser's like, you need to wait like another month. And I'm like, oh my god. So it's hideous under here. It's driving me mad. But yeah, anyway. This is it on. So... I think this is a really cute bag, especially when you're just like out and about in town. I like to have a bag on front of me, especially living in a big city like London. I do use a backpack. I got that Kenzo one the other day, but the only thing is with a backpack, I feel like it's on my back and thieves are everywhere. If you live in a big city, you know, like the thieves are like, I literally will be walking down the street and I'll have anxiety that someone's just gonna zzzz. That was it, that was the buttery zip. Oh my God, it was that Kenzo backpack. The zip was so buttery. But if you haven't watched that, I'll put the link here. I just remembered. <laughs> Oh my god, that made me laugh so much. So I just had like an epiphany of, you know, the buttery zip. Oh god, sorry. Whew, getting like <laughs> overexcited over these unboxings, my goodness. But yeah, that's how I feel like I like having a bag on my front then because, you know, I think you've got to be pretty dumb, haven't you, if someone's going to actually steal from you at the front here. But yeah, this is how big it is. It does stick out a bit because it is a triangle, do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's kind of quite thick. It's kind of like, here I am, you know, <laughs> um, just hanging there. But, um, but yeah, it is really nice. And, you know, the idea of it is that the Prada logo, the triangle, it's just bigger, which they had to tell me. And I was like, mind blown. Yeah. So this is it. I definitely wanted to add some more color, especially in the summer to my wardrobe. I've been wearing so much neutral lately. But this is kind of, it's kind of luxury. It's, it's out there, but it's understated at the same time. It's not like super duper obvious if you don't know it. Um, I know it says Prada on it, but it's like debossed, embossed, M, debossed or embossed. I think this is debossed. Do you know what I mean? So it's like it's not super duper obvious, but yeah, I think this is like a really really beautiful bag. Let me know what you guys think down below. Is this a bag you'd like? It does also come in black, yellow, black, yellow, and blue. I believe I'll put the colours here for you. Um, but yes, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, of course. Give this a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of it. Is this a bag you'd like? Are there other bags you'd like me to review? Because, you know, I'm happy to... Happy to have a look and, and do that if it's something I think I'd like as well. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone, and I will see you in next week's video.